Hi there, it's Larry Lurcy. I'm going to talk to you today about dodging and burning, specifically uh, how to dodge and burn using a 50% gray layer. What this will do is it gives us a couple of advantages over just traditional dodging and burning. I've got the uh, burn tool selected here. You can just hit O. I can go in and just burn right here on the image, and this works okay. However, there's a couple of big negatives to it. One, if you do too much burning this way, the colors will start to shift. It doesn't just darken them, it will start changing the color. Really bad with skin tones especially, but it will start changing your color. The other big negative is that uh, if you, somewhere down the road, later on in the process in your workflow, you decide that you've done too much burning or dodging, you're kind of stuck with it because you've done it destructively and uh, you can't go back and take that off of the image. And so what we're going to try and do is fix both of these problems, give ourselves a little more control and uh, not too much extra work to, to get that. Give us a better look and a little more control. So I'm going to show you two different ways of doing it. One is a simpler way, which is honestly the way I do it the vast majority of the time because it still gets you really nice results. And then I'm going to show you a little more advanced way that gives you a little more control and it's a little bit more work, but does give you more control on the back end. And I'm going to show you both systems and you decide which works for you and for your workflow. Now, by the way, I should point out this is a uh, excellent thing to set up as an action. And uh, I've got another video where I talk about how to create actions and things like that. So if you don't know how to do actions, then um, definitely want to check out that video. And I'll uh, put a link later on in the video of how to do that. But if you do know how to do actions, this is something great to set up as an action. So the very first system, what we're going to do is we're going to have, we've got our layer here as just the image. We're going to go up to, we're going to create a new layer. So just go to layer, new layer, which brings up this box. We're going to call this layer dodge burn. There we go. We're going to change the mode, the blending mode, to soft light. And then that's going to make it, give us this option here to click this box. Fill with neutral color 50% gray. Dodge burn, soft light, check that box. And we come over here, we can see it's put a layer of gray on top of our image. Now we can't see that because it's in soft light mode. If we switch this back to normal mode, you can see that it's just a gray layer sitting on top of our image. So we will put this back into soft light mode. Now we can't see it. Now what we do is we're going to come back over here again. O if you don't have it selected to bring up this tool here, there's a little triangle on the bottom you can hit right here and it will show you get dodge and burn dodge of course making the image lighter burn making it darker. You can switch between these um, and I'm going to go ahead and start with burn and I'm just going to use these same dodge and burn tools, but I'm going to do them on this gray. And you will go through and you can see it's doing a much more held back, a more subtle look. You'll have to go over it more times. And you can come up here to your um, exposure mode and turn this up if you want it to happen faster. Uh, but generally I'll keep it down in the teens because I want to do just a little bit at a time. You know, dodging and burning is something that um, is really easy to overdo and so I'd rather it take me a little more time to do it. And so there's a bunch there. Now what we can do is we can turn this off and on. Big difference. Then what I will do on that same layer I will come back in switch this over to uh, dodge and then I would come in and dodge out the areas that I wanted to be lighter. Any of these places like this, put a little more highlight on the jeans, maybe on the rim of the hat. If you wanted to lighten this doorway for some reason, um, doesn't really matter how, how you're doing it. Whatever you want to dodge, burn, lighten and darken things, and then we'll turn it back off and on. And there you can see it. Um, the downside to this is it's all in the same layer, so uh, if you decide you've got too much dodging but the burning is perfect or, or vice versa, 
uh, you can't really adjust one or the other. That's the downside to this. But it, the, the nice thing is it's all in one layer. So if you're just doing minor adjustments to it, it generally will still work. Now you do have control over here of your opacity. If you say, you know what, I've done too much dodging and burning, you can bring it down uh, to wherever you want. And that's really nice right there. It's at, what, about 77%. And I like the fact that it doesn't really look like there's anything on it. And when you turn it off and on, there's a big difference. And I think dodging and burning is kind of like retouching. If you can see that it's there, you've done too much. And it's always still a personal preference, but um, I think you've got to decide how much you can do without it being obvious that you've gone in and put in a vignette or highlighted the face or things like that. So that's pretty much it. You've got it here on its own layer. If you decide at some point you don't like it, you can just uh, drag it down to the trash and get rid of it or uh, just play with the opacity and move it up, move it down. And that just kind of allows you to do this without getting too much of a color shift and having control over it. Now, if you want even more control, we'll move on to the more advanced version. I'm just going to throw this away, start over again. And then what we're going to do this time is we're going to kind of do the same process, but we're going to do it twice. So we're going to go up to layer and we'll call this one just burn. Set it to soft light. And then we're going to do it again. Layer, new layer. We'll call this one dodge. Whoops. Again, soft light. 50% gray. So now you can see over here we've got two. We've got a dodge and a burn. And what we will do, say we'll sit to the burn, what we're going to do this time is instead of using the dodge and burn tools, we're just going to paint on with black and white. We're just going to get a regular brush like this. Probably need to bring your flow down a little bit. I'm going to set it to about 10, 12, somewhere in there. Set to black right here. If you need to reset it, you can just hit the little black and white right there. But I'm already set to black. Make sure I'm on the burn layer. And then I will come in and I will start painting, basically painting black onto that gray layer. You can see where it is there. And the nice thing about this is I'm only working with the, uh, the burn and the dodge one at a time. So I don't have to worry about mingling those two effects. So let's say that's enough burn, probably too much burn. Bring that down a tiny bit. Okay, and then we'll switch to the dodge. I'll switch to white this time by clicking this little arrow right there. And then the areas that I want to lighten, I will come in and I'm going to just paint white on them. Let's do this a little bit just to kind of show what it looks like around the hat. All right, so here's the before and after, I think you can see just a little more. Again, I think probably too much down here. So we'll take the opacity down a little bit. There we go. So now I've got the dodge and burn on separate layers. I can turn them on, turn them off, raise the opacity up and down, and I've got much more control over it. When I'm done, I can either leave them like this and just go on with my next thing that I'm working on, or I can, of course, just flatten the whole thing down. You can just go up to layer, uh, flatten image. But I wouldn't do that unless I knew I was done with it, because once you do that, you kind of lose the advantage of having these on a separate layer. But uh, again, now we're set up to, to do whatever it is you want to do. If it's too much of a, an effect, you can play around with the flow and the opacity and not put as much paint on at a time. Um, and then again, once you're done, adjust it with the opacity over here on these two layers. So that's pretty much it. Uh, not too difficult, just a couple of steps to, to do. And that's two different ways of doing it. And you just kind of decide what works best for you and what you're more comfortable with. And they'll both give you really nice results. So give that a try. And if you like it and you're going to use it a lot, I definitely recommend you set up an action. And uh, up there in the top of the screen is a link to a video on how to make your own actions if you don't know how to do that. So I definitely hope you'll check that out as well. Please like and subscribe if this helped you and hope to see you back on the channel soon. Take care. Bye-bye.